Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today is the second Sunday of Easter, also called Sunday in the Octave of Easter. This is the eighth day since Easter Sunday. Saint John Paul II added another name to today's Sunday, the Sunday of Divine Mercy. Saint John Paul II once described mercy very beautifully. He called it the second name of love. The Easter season lasts seven weeks liturgically because the Church wants to make the point that the Easter mysteries are a disclosure of divine love. The readings today are about belief and faith. Indeed, in John's Gospel for today, Jesus says to doubting Thomas, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Today is Divine Mercy Sunday. This Easter season invites us to bear witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus and to receive His divine mercy at this special time. As we bear witness in our own way, may Jesus' peace be with us. Three times Jesus says, Peace be with you in today's Gospel. Three times because the disciples often liked peace. For Jews, this greeting means, May everything good be yours, may everything be good for you. Jesus fulfills the promise of the Last Supper, Peace is my bequest to you. It reminds me of the threefold repetition in Julian of Norwich. All shall be well, and all shall be well, and all manner of things shall be well. The risen Lord reached out to Thomas, doubt no longer. He said to him, but believe. Then Thomas said, my Lord and my God. There was a great honesty about Thomas. He didn't pretend to believe when he didn't. But the Gospel today suggests that such honesty is never very far from authentic faith. Think for a moment about a time when you have doubted in Jesus and what happened to bring your belief back. When I say the words during Mass, peace be with you, hear me say, may everything good be yours, may everything be good for you, and say these words to one another, and let us believe those words and do whatever we can to make them a reality. God bless you all.